Hey, welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines. Well, our new truck, we, we're very, very happy with it. It's the Ford, it's the, uh, the Raptor. And uh, we're really very pleased with it. And it's uh, a little bit like um, a, a spaceship to us even right now. We're still learning all of the features that it has. So I thought I'd just give you a look at it from a slightly different perspective because normally uh, every review is all about the mechanics and all about uh, yeah and they they touch on how the vehicle looks but uh, with with the Ford um, they it always seems to me that they go to extra lengths and uh, as an artist and, and a sculptor and, and having earned my living in that area of expertise I thought I'd give you a look at it from from how I'm looking at it from my perspective. A little bit windy right now, so uh, I've got my support for the furry cat, the hairy cat. But there's the there's a, an overall view of, of the truck. It it really has a very strong stance. Obviously it's hiked so there's an awful lot to it. But what I really, well, what attracted me straight away was, was how it looks and then all of the other stuff comes, comes after that. Ford always seemed to me to, to take great care in, in small details and what I found when we looked at the alternative that we were looking at was uh, a Hilux uh, and the Hilux, especially in that front corner was just not as pleasing to my eye uh, and I'll, I'll show you why I think it is. See this, somebody at some point in the design and production of this truck went to a great deal of trouble to make this look great and if you look at it that's a small spotlight there and it comes in and it's it's fluted goes into the side there and and is <laughs> That's a, a very nice piece of work from a sculpting point of view. And all on this corner is very, very well done. And I, I notice this especially, especially when I look at the other vehicles. And the other, on some of the other vehicles, especially the Hilux, uh, for those who love their Hilux, yes, I would have loved my Hilux had I got it, but. I would have still been uh, objective about how it looked at, on this corner. And if you look at the Ford, it, it looks great. See, so they've arched this out, but they've lost, they've lost the look of the arch. I mean, deliberately, they've, you're not as aware of it being an arch because of the way that they've done it. You can see this slope here and how this here and it reaches this point and even this little little point here look and then it comes back and it, it actually goes back in there and then starts its sweep down and around. It starts off quite wide and then it comes around and it narrows off and that's rounded uh, and a, a really nice job. I think that when you get when you get a new vehicle, whether it's used or or whether it's brand new, the way that you get to know it is by cleaning it. So you wash it and dry it off, and then you wax it, and then you polish it. And that, that's when you find out all those little bits that they've gone in, in which they've gone to a great deal of trouble. So even this look, this is the arch and they've taken it in for the exit off of the truck bed and they've lost it and then they come down here and look how they've they've lost that in there when I say lost it I'm, uh, I'm not talking in a derogatory term I'm talking uh, a, a praiseworthy term and here all of those 
and that's got another layer another edge so even that gets lost up there look it comes down so I'm talking really talking artistically you know now when they make these vehicles if you go you can go on uh, on YouTube and and type in clay prototypes type in clay prototype clay car prototypes and you'll see you'll see how they actually produce the first prototype and the first prototype is in is in clay for I'm not saying that this is on everyone but on many there's a, a very good uh, there's a very good video showing how a BMW was designed and made and, and so all of these will have all of these sweeps and and curves and and pieces all of this will have been put in later by a computer because that's where the joins are going to be but the actual look of this and how it right, it will have been drawn drawn up with very very accurate drawings with people who are very skilled at ultra ultra realistic drawings that can be that can be visualized easily in three dimensions by the very talented artists sculptures sculptors that they have and see see here look nothing is just taken down and abandoned there it comes around and sweeps around I hope that I'm getting it on the picture and then it's lost beautifully it's lost and then around here and then of course this now all of these all of these indentations and, and uh, differences in the plane they're there for a purpose because this is a flat sheet of metal actually it doesn't look like it anymore but all of those marks all of those differences in, in the levels all of those shapes are there to produce strength in that, in that same piece of material it's all floppy when it doesn't have those marks now this would have been given to someone to sculpt and the final thing would have been probably given say to a uh, CNC router which would have taken all of that out for the prototypes and then cleaned up and then that would be the, the master and even here see even here got this little honeycomb piece that's in there and then all very nicely uh, angled off now there's a purpose in this angling when they actually uh, do molds on things when they're pulling things from a mold uh, the fact that it has that angle there enables it to be pulled from the mold and then they've lost in there that's a toe toe hook and they haven't got just one they put one on each side which is actually a very practical thing so the headlights I think beautifully shaped look at that the way that that comes around and curves around now once, once that has been produced once um, it can be produced again and it can be made on uh, a huge uh, CNC router and the CNC router if you look on for your interest if you look on YouTube you'll see the CNC router doing these things once when I was in California uh, I would just love to uh, work in the movie industry the way that it worked out two two reasons why I didn't get that one of them I wasn't there at the right time and they liked my portfolio and uh, had they been taking people on I would have got it I didn't and I went around several companies that were special effects companies where they have uh, 
people, they have vacancies and spots, they have employment opportunities for people who are artists making, uh, who are good at making things. Although I did work in fiberglass and making uh, moulds and moulding stuff up. Now, I went to one company and there they're very jealous about how they uh, guard their secrets and designs so when you go in you have to sign a, a form which is called a non-disclosure form and it's a statement of non-disclosure it means that you will not reveal or use for your own benefit and profit anything that you see as an innovation while you're in that studio and the one particular one that I went in which was really very interesting and it was a vehicle in foam. They make a, a, a very solid kind of special foam and it's in huge blocks which are bonded together to make a, a, a huge uh, rectangular uh, block and then the CNC router goes to work and it works according to the uh, the designs that have been programmed into it and it was making the Batman uh, car not the one that was the jumper that was uh, used in a couple but the, the one that moved on from the, the kind of uh, uh, 60s kind of uh, the one that was based on I think on a, on a Chevy and it was being carved by a huge router and that would do everything on there it would make it look exactly like it should be and it was an amazing sight very interesting so back to back to our raptor you can see here all of these differences now it's very as as a a car repairer if you are if you're called in to somebody well if somebody brings a car in and they've got a dent to the door I mean they've got all kinds of techniques now for taking dents out uh, dent pullers you drill a hole in there and you put that in and then it can pull the, the dent out and then from there you would either depending how good you were with that you would be uh, using some fella filling in those holes with welds and then you'd be putting in some filler to get some shape back into it. The reason that doors now are not just flat is because it's very difficult to repair something that is just a flat sheet of metal. Whereas here you've got these different undulations and you would be able to work with them. So that's what I wanted to show you was uh, to talk a little bit about the, the aesthetics that seem to get overlooked in my opinion. Nobody goes into, look at that beautiful moulding. See, and even these are just so beautifully made. Look at how they've married this in here into the front bumper and everything is just done so nicely that's an angle there and then one along and then it goes to the front now I'm sure that a lot of people will be watching this and going what's the matter with the man has he gone, has he, has he gone crazy uh, but if you're into cars and looking at the beauty of things expressions on faces because cars have faces and they present uh, an attitude and if you are making something like the raptor if, if you watch the movie um, Jurassic Park you would have known you will have known that the raptor was uh, a real predator and, and here we are we've got a Ford raptor and they've taken the name raptor and they've deliberately put that because it's an aggressive stance it's an aggressive look if you look at the, the eyes uh, are the headlights and, uh, and there's a face there and, and every car
car, especially any of the more expensive cars, will show you a face which is appropriate to what the, the, the truck or car actually does. And this is a terrific face for me. So, my friend, my friend, uh, Kerry, the, the, Aus the Aussie uh, motor man who builds Fords, he builds Mustangs and they're sold before he can finish them and uh, he is uh, a man who loves cars and he says that if you can walk away from your new car without looking back when you parked it by the side of the road if you can walk away as I'm walking away now without looking back at least twice to admire the car that you bought then you must have bought the wrong car wise words Kerry that's all from me don't forget to like and if you can comment I'll subscribe bye for now